What's up, babes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. If this is your very first time here, so y'all, today we have a new Fenty launch. We have the new Ease Drop Skin Tint. Y'all know I am not as of yet on Fenty PR so when there is a drop y'all know I gotta go cop for you so I can give you my opinion <laughs> so we're just gonna be playing with a couple of shades finding our shade putting this on creating this no makeup makeup look give or take a little razzle dazzle cuz y'all know me <laughs> I can't never keep it simple <laughs> But we did limit the steps so that we can see the product. We're gonna talk about all of the claims, we're gonna test the claims, we're gonna do a little wear test, and we're gonna keep it nice, short, simple, and sweet today. Before we have until, please make sure that you hit subscribe below. If you have not yet, so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right, my loves, let's get into it. All right, loves, so we are gonna hop right into it. I know I probably look really tired, y'all, because it is like a 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> So I'm a little sleepy, but it is Sunday the day that this video will be coming out and I wanted to be able to do a little wear test and still get this out early enough in the day. So we do have the new Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint from Fenty Beauty. Anyone who watches me knows that I am not yet on Fenty PR. <laughs> So my reviews might come a little bit late, but I always go and cop it for you guys so that I can give you guys my opinion. I ended up picking up two different shades. The Lady of Sephora told me that a um, 420, which is my regular shade in the Pro Filter um, foundation, that it translates to either 19 or 20. I'm leaning towards 20. Cause when she put it, you know, we can't try stuff on a Sephora right now. But when she did put it on the pan or the mixing pan, this 120 looked like it. But let's get through our facts first y'all before we apply it to the face. Eyes already done, just concealer and lashes and brows. So flexible skin tint, easy to apply, soft blurred finish. Apparently 25 shades only. We do know them to be like the shade queens. You know what I'm saying? They have 50 shades that came out that was like, oh my God. <laughs> um, 25 shades to translate to all 50 shades is interesting because I never understand like flexible colors that will change based on what your shade is. So yeah, there's that. It says a blurring skin tint that delivers smooth, instantly blurred skin in just a few easy drops. It's light coverage, easy to apply. The Lady S4 said it is not light coverage. I have not watched any reviews, so we about to find out. Instantly evens out your complexion and gives a flattering blurred effect. Perfect for no makeup, makeup look, or when you want to look effortlessly put together. So humidity, sweat, and transfer resistant formula. We shall find that out ourselves. <laughs> but of course, I don't have any, I don't have any doubts about it because it is Fenty Beauty. So <laughs> I am excited to try this. I am going to use both of these shades and we're going to try it on the face and on the neck. So I'm bringing y'all down a little bit into my degligé so that we can check it out. So this is 19. Let's just go ahead and put it on like that. And I always like to match down here, so I'll also put it right here. And we'll just blend that out a little bit to see how it's looking. So that is the shade 19, slightly lighter than I go for, because y'all know I match this area right here, which you can see is lighter than everything else. Let's see if 20 does it for me. This is the shade 20, which is looking more like my undertone. It's looking a lot more like 420 Nars Macau situation, but mm, this one looks a little more yellow warm tone. What are we thinking y'all? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? In the store 20 looked more like my shade. But here, I'm liking this one when it compares to my face, but I'm liking 20 down here. So, hmm, I think I might compare it to 420. So this shade in the middle is 420, okay. So I can see how this is more, I don't know. Hold up. Honestly, I feel like I can use either shade. Cause for me, they're just blending together, so. <laughs> I think I'm more comfortable going in with number 20. And let's see how that looks. Now the lady at Sephora told me I don't need a primer with this. Um, so one side I am gonna use a primer and the other side I'm not. I do not have the Fenty primer. So I am using my All Nighter from Urban Decay to see if there's any type of difference. Sometimes there's not, sometimes there is. 
we just gonna see. We just gonna see. And I really want to apply it the way Rihanna applied it on the video. So I'm gonna take 20 and I'm gonna put it on my fingers. She said you only need a couple of drops and you mix it on your fingers and you just start to put it onto the face and it's supposed to start to even out your complexion. Now, I don't know if this finger thing is gonna work for me <laughs> all the time, but you know, let's just do it how she said to do it. On the forehead, I think I'm gonna go in with a brush though so you guys can see the coverage with the brush and definitely giving me a blurred effect. I don't know if you guys see it happening, but I feel like I'm seeing a blurred effect. I feel like I need a little more reinforcement on my under eyes because I got the bags today. <laughs> but let me put a little bit more under my eyes and see if I can build up to that medium coverage they was talking about. And I told you the lady at Sephora said that this was full coverage and I, I, I can't get with that claim. <laughs> I don't think this is full coverage, but I do see that it is a nice medium coverage and if you went in with like one drop maybe then you would have your lighter coverage it definitely gives a little bit of some coverage now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie so I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna dip into 20 and I'm gonna do that on my forehead so I'm feeling like a brush is gonna give you a little bit of a lighter coverage it seems as though it gets a little bit more opaque when you use it with a brush that's just the vibe that I'm getting but I definitely love this shade I love the shade 20 for me um, I feel like 19 would have been too light for me I feel like if you're on the lighter side of 420 maybe maybe that will be good for you um, number 19 but I feel like either one of those can work just depending on what your undertone is in 420 um yeah definitely getting that no makeup makeup vibe with this I'm seeing that for sure and I do like the fact that and look now when I put it on this side with a brush it want to show a little more coverage girl you decide what you want to do <laughs> overall I am loving the finish of this and what was it I think it's the light coverage natural coverage color stay from Revlon also I think has flexible shades and so I guess I don't know that's something that I guess I'm just not used to and I don't really know how that's supposed to work this is I would have to say looks slightly off of my shade but it's working perfectly for my shade so maybe maybe that's that's what she means <laughs> but I definitely am loving this and it definitely is buildable I'm just kind of wanting a little bit more coverage and it is giving it to me yet it still looks natural it's still giving me a very natural finish so but I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can really see the complexion and how we're looking before we set anything or add any more product okay y'all so this is how we are looking it is very blurring I can definitely see that and it is really giving you that no makeup makeup vibe you know for days that you just want your skin to be even but you don't want to go in with a full coverage foundation or you don't want to look look like you got on makeup you know <laughs> and i got me a little park date later so this will work this will work <laughs> but just a more zoom in look at the skin and how it's looking very natural love it i would definitely have to say so far i'm into this um me I'm gonna go ahead, this is this is obviously a no makeup makeup look. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer just right underneath my eyes and this is Fenty Beauty as well. This is their Pro Filter Concealer. Instant Retouch Concealer in 385 and I'm just gonna add it just under my eyes, down my nose and that's pretty much it. Just should give me a little bit of more coverage under my eyes like I usually want and add a natural nose contour with the lighter shade. But we're gonna keep this very light today, y'all. I'm not gonna go in too much. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> but I'm trying to do better about being more versatile. <laughs> so we're gonna keep this light today. We're gonna control ourselves today, y'all. We're gonna control ourselves. For the sake of the video, I am gonna use my Fenty Beauty powder. I do have it in banana and honey. And I think I'm just going to dust a combination of both onto my face, press it a little bit under the eyes, and then dust the rest of the face with a loose brush. But I'm keeping this veil of powder very, very light because honestly, I feel like this formula is drying down by itself. 
<laughs> before I even go in with powder. So I don't want to go in with too much because I also just really want to see how that formula acts throughout the next like six hours or so. But I do have to go to church. It's my first day going back to church since my surgery. So, well, I've been on Zoom, but you know, actually going into church and I'm going to edit this video this morning before church. So making breakfast, cleaning my house and all that jazz. So it's going to get a little activity, a little mask wearing and we are going to see what happens the last thing i'm gonna do is just add a little bit of my sunstalker bronzer just to warm up my skin around the perimeter and we gonna be done i just didn't want to cover up too much of this formula so that we can really see how it acts but i love this because i feel like this is like the perfect no makeup makeup look we literally use what four or five products I feel like this is very similar to a basic babe that i've done before the one with that i did with tinted moisturizer I feel like this is this is the vibe i'm also adding the slightest amount of mo money from the fenty the kilowatt highlighter palette and i'm just adding this in my inner tear ducts and my nose and excuse my ass y'all it's early <laughs> So let's zoom in one more good time so you guys can see the finished look. Of course, we could have done without the highlighter and stuff, but y'all know, like I said, let Maya be Maya. <laughs> but this is it. So this also, real quick, does say it's transfer resistant. I'm gonna take this clean mask and press it onto this. Oh, there's nothing there. Usually with anything else, it would definitely come off on this, but nothing is coming off. So immediately it is transfer resistant. We got a little some some, but not much. So we'll see at the end of the day how it's actually looking. So I'm gonna sign off, it is 7.05 right now. I'm gonna check back in with you guys around noon, just so you can see how it wore for the past five to six hours. And we're gonna wrap up this review. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we are back from church and this is how our face is looking. I wore masks to church, obviously, and it is currently 11.54. So from seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, pretty much about five hours I gave it. <laughs> so this is how we're looking. Unfortunately, this is not a full day of wear, but I have not touched up or anything and I am just gonna go ahead and use my sponge and get rid of some of these oils. But um, it looks like I got a lot shiny around my nose area. I'm expecting that, especially since I had the type of mask I had on was very much on my nose. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. The rest of the face, I feel like looks good as new. I just have my oil situation going on here. I would say if you wanna use this and you're oily, definitely make sure that you do some of those around your areas where you get oily to kind of grab your oil because it is a product, you know. Your oil's gonna come through on it, so, you know, reinforce with some powder or whatever you do to really protect your oily areas. But besides that, it's looking good and the same in the area, in the other areas, so. Now, transfer-wise, I got back this from earlier, and if I start to push it up against the face, a little bit more comes off. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's a little, can y'all see that? Hold on. Yeah, there's a little bit more that comes off than earlier, but it's still not coming off a whole, whole lot, which I guess proves that it is transfer resistant. That doesn't mean it's not gonna transfer at all, but it is resisting it, meaning, you know, it's not as much as another product would transfer over, so. It's cute, y'all. I like it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Especially with summertime coming up, girl. They might be getting some coins for the summertime, because this is, this is cute. This is cute. All right, loves, so that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed the review of this product. Um, I was really excited to get my hands on this and I feel like this is something that is perfect for my ladies who like to just get up and go. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna do the most. <laughs> just throw on a skin tint and even without doing the extra few steps that I did, you can just go. Throw this on, quick little veil of powder to protect yourself and you out. Somebody please drop a hint to fit that I need to get on PR so I can give y'all the tea a little quicker than this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought, if you plan on getting this, and if you've tried it, if you like it. Also, make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.